Oh, what's out there, kitty? Let's see, we got this Chevy. What year is this thing? 17, Colorado, it says. Guy okay, says ABS traction light on. I think we did a video on this thing years ago. It's got 50K on it now. Ooh. Seat's way back here. Let's get this thing fired up. ABS traction, he is correct. Here, propped up here so we can see what's going on. We'll let her do an auto scan here. Pick one. Let's see here. Looks like left front. Wheel speed circuit. And of course power steering because it's invalid data received. A couple other history codes in here, invalid data received. Okay, let's go back out of here. We'll go right into the ABS control unit. And we'll watch our wheel speeds as we drive. If I remember right, way back when, it was a wiring issue there in the right rear, if I remember correctly. I have to look back to that video. Let's see here. We'll pull up all these. I'll get them all graphed out. We'll go for a ride. Okay, here we go, folks. Oh, baby, it's just kicking on there. Ah, it's your classic broken magnet. Let's see how it's real jittery on that left front. All right, here, I'll pull over up here, I'll show you. that a little better and we'll go real slow and you'll see the, the pattern let's see we'll go zero zero to ten will probably be good enough okay all right let's see I'll go nice and slow here so I'm just coasting ahead every time it comes to that broken spot you're gonna get that dip I'm only going about three miles an hour here. Oh, I guess you can see that on the other one. Oh, better move so we don't hit a mailbox. Let's see, we'll just coast along here. All right, so that's easy fix. It's your classic ride it out GM magnet. Let's go back, usually visual inspection, you can see these things. Half the magnet falls off. show you because it's quite difficult to see up in there but I can try but I see the section missing right there all the way oh gosh it's missing almost half of it let me see if I can show you here let's see if we can use the camera it's light here uh, so we're going to be looking right underneath the CV axle right in this little crack right up in let me try one finger here right up in that area in that little crack there where you see that okay so let's see there we have a magnet okay like it's spinning around there's a magnet it's all good everybody's happy everybody's still happy boom now it's missing you can see where it's missing i keep spinning it missing 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 boom magnet okay so we're missing that section right through there. I don't know how this is focusing or not, but 
Uh, yep. Trust me, folks. Trust me. So I called the fella. He said, get it done. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. Hopefully. things up here a little bit rattling the axle I said loosen up our screw a little bit hopefully or it'll snap off one or any other either way it's coming out <laughs> loosen her up very nice Oh, what do we have here, folks? The 18, probably? That's bright. 18, yes, sir. It's so bright. We need more power. Get back here with the half inch ugga dugga. That's mine. Oh, oh, easy, easy, easy. What? Thor, she don't play. Oh. Let me push this caliper back a little bit. We just want to squeeze them a little. It's not enough. There we go. Take that off. Let her hang right by the hose. I'm kidding. Come on. Take the rotor off. <laughs> What holds this bearing on? Bolts, probably, yep. Ooh, looks like the CV axle might be right smack in the way. Let's push that in a little bit again. Let's have a look back here. Well, we have to give them a handy. I'm gonna put something on in here to keep the axle pushed in. See if we have enough room to get these out without pulling the whole spindle off or the whole knuckle anyways. Yeah, we're just gonna use this to push on the axle here a little. Keep her held in. Whoa, fella. Hey, now we're talking, now we have lots of room, or at least more room. We get a 13, the threads stick through. Makes it kind of a pain. There's that one. I 
There's that one. How about this? Not a lot of clearance here. Wondering. That would probably work better than a uh, regular impact swivel. Plus, it's super dangerous. You're playing with fire here, boy. You're gonna end up missing some teeth. Think you can't talk now? Ah! Oh, yep. That <laughs> came right out. Who am I kidding? No danger at all. Ah! Oh, look at that, would you? You may have a little uh, low strength Loctite on there. Now we're gonna have to back this back off here a little bit. Spin that back out so we can turn the wheel. Get the ones on the other side. We'll push the axle back in. As far as we dare. swivel on in here. Keep your face out of the way. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> that bearing literally just popped out. Wow, I must be living right. Because that doesn't happen too often. It's almost like we're going to a car in Florida. Take the bolts off, and boom, how she comes. Here, we'll give her a spin, take her out the rest of the way. The axle is pushing out kind of hard. That <laughs> guy's got a half million dollars in tools in his shop, he's using a crushing wrench. <laughs> there. Perfect. They must put grease on these from the factory because that is full of grease in here and it slid right out. I mean, look at that. But you can see the magnet now, so you see how it's missing from you know, here to here. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. about three half cans of this stuff kicking around. Come on, Josh. There. Always blame the other guy in the shop if you can. Right from Chevrolet, People's Republic of Korea. That's how you know it's genuine. America, apple pie, baseballs, and Chevrolet. And Korea. So here we are. Let's see what we have. Now I did look at the service data because I was kind of surprised to see grease in there. And I'll be jiggered that that's what they do right from the factory. They even tell you in the service data, put grease in there. Inside the knuckle. I can't believe it. First manufacturer I've ever seen do that. I'm a Chevy guy now. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Not a Chevy guy. So we're gonna do in accordance with service data. We're gonna smear some wheel bearing grease in there. All over the inside knuckle. They get one thing right and 500 other things wrong, but hey, whatever, we'll give them the points for this because that's really good. That's a really good job, Chevy. The engineer should give himself a raise. Let's get that baby started on there. Come on, baby. There we go. Got our start. We gotta get a bolt now. I put Loctite on all these. We'll get her. Let's go. 
wiggle that bearing back out a little bit so I can get her kind of see what I'm doing here. Might be a little easier if the wheel wasn't turned. There's one. I get the tack to push back in here. I tell you what, let's snug up the one we got. That way we can push that axle back in and fit all the rest of them in here. We can do this without getting hurt. Oh, ho, 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 I seen that coming at me high speed. Too tight. All right. Now pick up our bolt. Let's put some more Loctite on that one. And then we'll put this little guy back on there. Now we can give it a push. Get the rest of our bolts in. Hopefully. Because let me grab a different bolt here. I don't think it'll fit with the axle in the way. negative it does not it hits I know you can't see it way up trust me so we'll push it in it hits the clamp on the CV boot we probably should have put the bolts in before we put the bearing in that would allow us some room almost there there's that one lines up perfectly We'll get our third one here. I'll put that one in. Mm, maybe. There we go. There's our third one. That one should line up and get started. All right. Let me go put my plate on the one I dropped in the water here. And there's that one. So all of them are started now. I'll zip this one in a little bit. Oh, <laughs> somebody gonna get it. I better put that on one ugga dugga. Okay, there's that one. Snug this one just very lightly. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't know if we'll be able to turn it. Oh, we kind of do with the axle push in. Look at that. Let me snug these two up over here. I'll do it where you can't see it. Cause that's always helpful if you're trying to learn something. Okay, let's go get a torque wrench and factory stack this baby. I'm not so sure we're gonna be able to get in there. Uh, I don't know about this, Mr. O. Maybe a little extension. Oh, yes, sir. 96, I think it said. That's where we're going with it, anyways. There's one. Hmm, I wonder if we can turn it a little bit more. That's as far as it goes, fella. And we need a little less extension. Our little guy. Perfect. Boom. Oh, it sucks. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, rotate it around. boys we 
the washer on there. Get an axle nut. Huh? We have our 36. We'll pull that through. It's a lock nut. Oh, it goes a little hard. That's FYI. Back or back off and click. Give that a little spritz of fluid film. Make sure the inside of your rotor is clean. Wrong. Two different holes. See this one's on the outer edge. This one's in the middle. Okay. Must be a couple applications. There is a torque spec on this. About that, finger tight. Ain't going anywhere. I'll take the caliper that you left dangling by the hose. I'll slide that little guy up in there. Come on, baby. Put a little lock tight on your uh, bolts here. Fifty nine ish. All right, now we can crank them down. All right, we're going to go thirty eight degrees this time, just for that little back show. Mother of pearl, what's that end up being? Two thousand seven hundred twenty one ish. Oh, man, down. There he is, boy. One ninety something here. One ninety one. All right, there it is. We're done. are out. Got all four wheels up here graphing. I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the glare, but get out here on the big road. Make sure you pump your brakes up. Otherwise you're gonna get a little scare. Looking good folks, looking good. There you have it folks, your 17 Chevy Colorado. Wheel speed sensor issue there. Broken magnet, super common on your GMs and your Chryslers. And anything that uses that magnet where it's exposed to the elements. I'm really uh, frothing at the mouth today, trying to speak. We'll get it figured out. We always do the speech anyways. Oddly enough, if I talk like a robot, I can actually talk pretty well. So it's kind of funny. I guess I could default to that. I won't show you right now because it's kind of comical. We'll save it for another time. Anyhow, take your time in that comment section. Questions, comments, concerns, Insta, the Facebook. Just more viewers. I can do it. You can do it. Thanks for watching.